All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? And welcome to one of the most chaotic pieces of content that you're ever about to watch. We are watching the North American Clown Team special and Australia. That's right. We've got Mexico and California, the power of the Americas, up against Team Korea, Byun and Maru. And we are going to be casting this first person off special stream because he streamed this, and this way we get to listen to the comms between him and Australia as they play this first round match. Now, this was hosted by Nation Wars. Shout out to the Nation Wars guys and massive props to them for running this. But guys, lock yourselves in. This is going to be chaotic. Pros do not care about team games. They do not practice team games. There are very rare big money tournaments for pro players. And yet the lineup in this tournament is insane with teams like Raynor and Clem, Beyond and Maru, and these two guys as well. So this is going to be chaotic because I want to hear the comms of the players as they talk shit, try to figure out what they're doing, and generally navigate the chaos of 2v2. Let's get into it. All right, we are going to have the right, audio so on. So you're going to scout after Pylon or before Pylon? I'll do Pylon. Yeah, after Pylon, after Pylon, this map is good, I think. Yeah, because yeah, they won't wall both their bases. Yeah. They're not going to wall the resources, so I'll scout after Pylon, okay? First piece of strategy coming in here. All right, Astra, let's go, baby! Yeah, let's go. We're going to fuck everyone up. They're not, they're not, they're not going to see their stuff coming. <laughs> best of you. Best of five. Best of five. Already getting sight. Uh, best of five, apparently? I thought it was best of three. <sighs> I think it's best of three, not best of five. I think he's wrong on that. But we will find out anyway really as this series we're goes on. Special and Australia up against Mario and Beyond on Reclamation. It looks like your two bases Catholic are very close to each other. Win? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say, have you ever played this, Matt? I went to a Catholic church today and prayed for your win. Nice. <laughs> you go to church and pray for the win. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Focus. So this is actually a best of five here. And special is going to be spawning in Terran top left. Uh, Australia is over to the right. Looks like you both get an expansion that's right next to each other on your natural here on this map. And then you can, of course, head across what seems like a pretty long rush distance to the opponents. And getting out to your third, your fourth, your fifth bases are going to be very exposed. Gracias, Rio. Until next time. Apologies for the alerts that are going to be popping up on screen. Um, Special has one of the most weird streams ever, guys. So if you guys hear weird, soft anime voices and strange things happening, don't worry. It's just the alerts off Special stream. Of course, you can watch them over at twitch.tv forward slash specialsc2 and watch chaotic, high-level, cheesy strats. Now, what's really cool, though, Special's a cheeser. Special likes Battle Cruisers. Special likes Widow Mind Drops. I was telling Special the other week about one of Ruff's silly ghost drop into Battle Remember, Cruiser builds. Remember, needs to scout what they're doing, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important. And he was legitimately trying nice. to do that, even against pro players on the ladder. And was telling me it was working sometimes and it wasn't other times. Um, so yeah, he's going to do crazy stuff. Australia's already incredibly creative. Yeah, yeah. Could be and these racks, Korean players racks, probably yeah. haven't played a team game in years, I would imagine. Um, not that Special and Australia have much either. But these guys, they all off-race a fair bit. Very rarely do they actually go and play like that. So, very aggressive Shit, double man, gas opening. I was opening. thinking I'm cheesing these fuckers. They don't scout, I'm telling you, man. I'm cheesing these know. bastards, it's they don't fun. scout. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's true. With, the, with my build, plus your adept, we can do some damage. So he scouted two turns, neither of them scouted. They're both playing greedy 1v1 builds. Ripper, right? So yeah, important yeah. to scout in 2v2. And... You're also meant to do very safe openings in 2v2 or very yeah, aggressive very openings. Very yeah, they were so he's saying, look, I'm just going to do a two Reaper Hellion pressure. We'll join up with the Adept. And these guys only are going to have one Reaper each. They're going to lose that fight versus a Reaper and an Adept. And then two Reapers in okay, Hellion. I need your Adept with my Reaper, you know? So he just says, hey, join your Adept yeah, with the Reaper. We're going to kill this. This is going to be so easy, man. Yeah, I know. Like, that's, this is the dangerous part of the game for us. Aggression is so much more powerful because if you attack with two players at once, you can jump on one guy, 2v1 him, and you've already got the momentum. If they're not prepared to defend an attack, it's yeah, so it's much reaper, yeah. worse in team games than it is in 1v1. Now, he actually ends up being the one who gets hit by a double reaper, right? Because it's both players' reapers there on side. Oh, but Special does get another reaper out. He's trying to get okay, let one. the Adept get coming, in coming. here. Nice. Oh, okay. This so is why I'm the god of micro, baby. My room beyond got nothing on me. <laughs> Alright, we're stopping with the analytical commentary. Specialist Gene, he says, Maru and okay. Beyond have nothing on me. That's why I'm, I'm the god of micro. Up. I agree, Special. I agree. Gets his command center building. He's proxying a starport as well. Oh my god, he's going ham. 
I could be a cloaked banshee. I reckon oh, he maybe liberator than cloaked right. banshee. They're being annoying, but they don't have much to defend at home. I don't know if this is the right call for them to be going in so deep right now. They're playing this kind of no, no. like it's 1v1, but 2v2, you got to be really careful throwing your units away, man. Because look at that, three Reapers, two Hellions. It's going to be a vicious counter pressure. The yeah. Adepts are already poking in. They have at least one Hellion out. Yeah. Is that Fusion Core? He's going Proxy Battle Cruiser. Oh my God, what a legend! Mickey, maybe my Proxy. First Phoenix was on the way. Nice. Ah. Go shade. They're going to be I'm so okay. busy dealing with this. They're going to gonna struggle, man. They're going to struggle. The BC is going to be going. such a surprise. Oh, they have a lot of hell in there. Use micro back. No, we can't fight, man. Can't no, no, we can't. Wait, go back. <laughs> Special's like, come on, man. We can't win that fight. Get out of there, dude. What are you doing? But of course, his army's a lot more nimble than Australia's adepts there. So Australia's adepts aren't able to get out. Okay, I have a miner. Oh, the Widow Mine's going to get a good hit. That's nice. Nice, baby! Go back, back. I'm making BC. Oh my god, chat's asking you, is this a new map? I have no idea, You need to guys. scout with the Phoenix, by the way. Can you send one to scout? Oh, yeah, I haven't yeah, been yeah. playing 2v2 in ages. Because they could be going back and we could be screwed. I'm going to be making Hellions. Be careful, because they're going to stick making Hellions as well. They, they're strong, is there? It, they're a third. Okay, okay. This is good for them. This is an invention, no. At least this is great, this is great, this is great. Yeah, because they're so the focused on the Hellion yeah, yeah. fight, right? The opponents. So I'm going BC, and uh, I don't think they're going to have a Cyclone, man. Yeah, they're not going to have any Cyclone out, because they're building only Hellions and Marines right okay. now. They don't have any Vikings no, or Cyclones. The BC is just going to no, maybe... Phoenix Colossus, Phoenix Colossus. It's going to do Get crazy damage, man. I'm taking a third. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a third. I'll use Macro now. I'm just going to keep making Hellion, Hellion thingy. I'm going to take map control. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're here? Oh, nice pressure from them, but losing this third is not the end of the world, man. Oh, and he just dives on the Raven. Gets the Viking to land. Raven goes down. Astraea rallies the Phoenix to his death. I don't know if this is going to be enough, though. Don't fight. I think they just give up the third, man. Yeah, there's no need to fight there. His first BC is going to dive in and kill so much, man. Dude, this BC has a lot of weight resting on its shoulders. Because the other guys are going three base. And uh, they need to do some damage. You make you close almost out? Here we go. No, it's, it's, on the way. it's okay. My base is doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Maru's frantically trying to build a missile turret underneath the battle cruiser. Okay. I, you spend again. Always makes me happy Look when at the BC boy. Best Terran in the world does a Silver League response. He's so surprised by that BC. Now I think he accidentally clicked on the Come depot. Here. Special, you're shooting the depot. Wake up. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this mic. Yamato's almost out and second away. Okay. Can you lift the fit cycle? Lift the cycle. Come, come, come. Lift it, lift it. Nice, baby. Yamato out. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna lose. Oh, you can just teleport out now. Yeah, baits the stim. One of the Vikings goes down to the Yamato. This is so sick. Nah, just macro. He says, nah, just macro. It's fine. Don't worry about continuing to attack. I'm just repairing Second, my BC. BC the way. Second BC comes in. Just macro. I think you make ground and we win. Just macro. Uh, you make ground. Like ground with Colossus Phoenix, you know? Phoenix, Colossus. Okay. I was going to go here, but... I'm going to take a I third. I guess Special probably plays mech from here. Ooh, two Widow Mines hidden behind the gas. Not bad. Maru. Oh, that was Beyond's. Beyond came in and borrowed Widow Mines behind Maru's gas. Sick plays. Yamato's a Viking. Teleports on out of there. The Phoenix trying to assist. They're picking off a lot of SCVs on the third. This is actually so much fun, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's fine. I'm starting to transition into mech. I'm a little behind my transition, but it's fine. Because I'm, you know. Yeah. But I think we're doing great. Because we need to make sure you're not dying. Okay. Just need to make sure we don't die, so... Yeah, repairs up the BCs. They're going to go for another run by. And dude, these like proxy locations are so hard for them this to get to to clear out. Unless they go and drop this starport, they've got to go so far around to get to that starport and clear it out. They're pushing? Yeah, I All right, Maru and Beyond pushing out. Man, they don't have much ground. He's got like a bunch of Hellions. Okay, but he's got a third BC there. 
And he's not going to pull back. The BCs are just going to keep doing run bys, but he doesn't have any tanks yet, man. This is like a really scary moment. You need my help, you need my help, right? No, no, I don't actually. Okay. Does he have... Oh, he's got Colossus and Shield no, I'm gonna keep my good. I thought they were dead. I didn't see the Colossus. I was like, dude, that's like 60 Marines. But he's got three Colossus and a Shield Battery, so they just can't push into it. Oh, nice teleport home. Oh, he's got a teleport. Okay, at least he saves them. And he's going to teleport that one too. So all three we BCs survived. Done. Making tank, though. He didn't trade as much as he should have. He could have killed more SCVs and stuff. That's totally fine. Just going to repair him. He's getting up to three base Blue mech power, now. Right? Australia's getting a fourth. Australia's got a good Colossus count. Dude, this is... Basically, Bjorn and Maru need drop, to drop, get drop, 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 drop. a sick Viking count out. Oh, the drop! Surprise drop in the main! Yeah, I'm coming, oh my god. No, I Colossus. No, no, I think it's fine. Oh my god. The Phoenix Colossus actually wrecks it, but the Phoenix didn't intercept the drop on the way out. Oh, I think Australia gets it. No, Australia! He should, have, he should have got those Metavacs. I think that was Bjorn's yeah. army. It just got out. <clears throat> He's got some tanks here as well now. Oh, a fourth BC coming in. Oh my god. It's actually pretty nice. Tank Colossus Phoenix. Oh my god, the Widow Mine's still firing? Oh no, Maru's outpositioned him. Uh-oh. Have the Protoss and Mech player been outpositioned by the Bio players. Maru goes for the third base. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, good counter damage. Oh, I'm gonna Oh, it's a lot of SCVs to lose, man. But they're doing counter damage as well. Oh, I no. I need your help. Your main for me. Uh-oh. Oh, I think they were in such a good position. Oh, nice. Look, the Marines are actually going to get a BC there. Oh, Beyond focuses down a BC. Now, there's no way out, though. The Phoenix will stop him from going down. He's going to try and uh, take out some of these Vikings. Teleporting back now. Finally, they clean up in there. Oh, the Command okay, Center survived. We're doing fine still, I think. I think so. I think. I, it, the I question think so. is, if Bjorn and Maru have fourth bases on that right side, fine. then they're just going to have too much stuff. They're just going to outscale them. But if Bjorn and Maru are both on like 50, 60 workers, yeah, yeah, three cool. bases still, then I think, I think Australia and Special are still in a good spot. Because Australia has a super scary ground army, still a good bat battlecruiser count, Archon Colossus plus Charge coming in. Oh man, it all depends what's going on on that right side of the map. Because if there's two expansions off on that Get right it. side that we don't know about, that then special and Australia are, 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 are screwed. Oh, oh, the missile turret, mass repair, nice play by Maru. But the Hellion on the right side just scouted. It sees no expansions on the right side, guys. Oh, one. One expansion. But I think it might only just be building. Or just built, here? yeah. That's not too big a problem, then. That means only one of them has a fourth base. And that's beyond, I believe. Maru's still on three bases. Ooh, Phoenix, be careful. He's trying to get more factories up, because tanks are going to be huge, just man. If he can get some tanks up, that'd be massive. Uh, okay, big army coming through the Don't middle. Worry, tanks, okay. Not many My tanks. Gonna do some damage. But tank Colossus versus Bio. If you don't actually have the Vi enough Vikings to gun down like the Colossus Phoenix Battlecruiser... You're in big trubs. Battlecruisers will take out the missile turret. Okay, I'm oh. denying the main. Watch out, watch out! They're dropping my main. <laughs> oh, I've recalled a single Phoenix. Oh, he teleports out the BCs? one they focus. The Doesn't lose any BCs there. Very you nice. I cannot help you with that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Australia's going to handle the drop on his own. Special. He's actually doing a really good job as a shot caller. He's saying, I've got to stay in the middle. Because if I on siege here, I will lose... We're losing both sides, and oh, even with him holding his ground there, without any hellbats morphed, without the BCs oh, shit, there, no. oh no! I mean, even, the right? Australia cleans up the main, but even with the battle cruisers out, man, that means Australia loses his third base. Oh, this is not good. I think I think Bjorn and Maru might just be doing this. Now the battle cruiser run by is going in, dude. Blue Flame Hellions are really good versus Marines. They don't do much versus Marauders, but they're very we might need tanky to push at some if point. you put them know. in Hellbat form. How's your economy? How's your economy? But against Mass Marine, if they're clumped up, a big Hellion volley can do massive damage to them. I can push and send my BCs like a cross. It's all about the numbers. You need a no lot of Hellions because sure. they're going to have a lot of Marines. I don't think we can push. Yeah, you're different. I'm just going to try to get Disruptors out. Yeah. Maybe that'll do enough. I hope so. He's got 42 workers on one base. Oof. 
special needs some expansions. If he had some corner expansions up this whole time, that would have been so much better. Yeah, give me guys. Let's go to my Oh! Oh, he loses a BC! Nice ambush! Oh, and that one doesn't have teleport ready. He's going to lose two BCs up there. Ooh, Bian and Maru on point, man. Ground units are going to be fine. I'm going to make torches for Nuke? And they're making a nuke. Oh, kill the Vikings! Oh, you can? Watch out. Yeah. Uh, this is... Anyone out there who's watching this, if you've watched high-level FPS and MOBA games that are actually based on teamwork, Don't worry. just remember, StarCraft have, players uh, are terrible at that. Too, so. We are used to fully working our own silos on our own, right? We're not used to having to communicate, and so we are terrible at shot calling. I mean, Special's doing a good job of taking the lead, but now that they're reacting to things, he's just shouting randomly. No, no, kill, kill the Vikings! There's more to me! There's a nuke! And it's like, it's like, there, there is a point where you're just shouting words. <laughs> and, uh, I think he's gonna have to ease off those comms a little bit if he wants them to be coordinated. The tank Helvet should defend this position. Back. Australia's pushing the right! Australia's committing, man! Okay. Ooh, I think Australia might have just sat on his own ball, though. I think a bunch of his zealots may have got hit by a friendly fire. Nice, nice. Oh, should we push together? Oh, good dodge by Bion. Uh, scan ahead. I'm a little low on disruptors, so... Battlecruiser run watch by out, coming watch out, watch out. in. Oh, the Vikings got it. The Vikings just ambushed his BC run by. He didn't nice. notice it. Oh, okay, I lost my BC, but I think it's okay. Uh... Watch out, watch out. Oh, I think a big disruptor shot just landed. Yeah. And they do have a very scary tank Hellbat push. The Bio Ghost just can't fight that well. That's that's the problem for them right now. And they just don't have enough yeah, tanks. Pushes, pushes. I think Special might be able to just ram these tanks up through the guts. There's, there's only like one tank in the way. He can just literally siege on it. Yeah, he doesn't even care about that, man. Oh my god. And they're still harassing with the battle cruisers. Dark, just in case. Oh my god, they're actually just going to shove through. The tank count's too high, dude. Oh, that was a hot pickup by Maru, but he still copped a bit of the disruptor shot. Watch out, watch out! Counter! Should we defend? Uh... Or, or just I go. I can defend that, I can defend that. Okay. Okay. Then I can kill. Okay. Alright, so we got the tanks. They're gonna siege up that base. No He's still worried about getting um, flanked, but it looks like Australia went to deal with the army that ran around. We're not watching the fight, we can only see it on the minimap. Looks like Australia won that battle. Nice! Nice, baby! Nice, 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 nice. Sick. The BCs! <laughs> oh, sick. Got it, got it, good, good. I'm telling you, man. But that was closer than I expect. I think we took... Uh, they dropped. Yeah, they dropped it a lot of damage. Multitask. Yeah. Oh my god! Multitask. Mech, Mech plus Protoss beats the two bio the normies. Would really work. That's actually really, really big. Who was that... I attacking with the first see, I didn't even know. I just, I don't even know who I was clicking. <laughs> I don't even know who I was clicking. <laughs> That's so key for those BCs alive and just harassing all game. If they actually went and eliminated that starport, I think that could have been a totally different game, right? That could have been totally different. That's just game one in a best of five though, remember guys. This series is still going. Brockmeister, thank you for the sub. Time flash with the five months resub. Everybody else, appreciate the love. Uh, big shout out to Special once again for streaming his viewpoint in this. This is so much fun. They're gonna be going into Nightscape. I'm sure. Oh, this is the purple map. This this is the map that makes you feel uh, like you're in the red light district or something. Again. You need to scout, you can scout or you cannot? Or should I scout? Uh, not with a spell that I can't scout. Okay, I scout, I scout, I will scout. It's just later. But it's fine because we're playing safe, so it's okay. You go court first, right? That's my only question. Yeah. Well, uh, kind of. I get the court right away. Okay, I'm not scouting, by the way. I mean, I'm not making a wall. Okay. No they wall off. So kind of dangerous, but because they're against two Terrans, it's not as big of a deal. Walls are obviously most useful. Uh -huh. Terran versus, uh, to some extent, Terran versus Protoss, if they're Zealot or Adept oh, Heavy. Scout. I can scout close proxy locations this game. How about that? That's fine. No, don't worry. I will scout. Don't I think worry. it'll be fine. 
Can it, he's gonna, are they gonna both completely skip the scout this oh game? That's kind of crazy, man. Someone in my chat said, you play a bunch of 2v2 with Last Shadow in 2010, man. That practice really coming through right now. <laughs> Last time special practice was with Last Shadow. Uh, now. Oh, you want to take the base close? Yeah, you take the base close. Is he still I coaching League of Legends? Out. Does anyone know? Last Shadow? Yeah. Back in 2010. Okay. 2v2 is so much fun, though. It's so variable, dude. Scouting really late here. I do like the double gas opening though. I think in general, if you guys are wanting to get better at 2v2s, a good rule is use a mirror matchup build order. If you're going from 1v1 to 2v2, use your PvP opening, your Zerg vs Zerg opening, or your Terran vs Terran opening, depending on whatever race you're playing, right? Yeah, like Doesn't matter what the opponent's races are, because those openings from the mirror matchups are okay, naturally a lot time. safer. Back. Two barracks is totally normal. There's two different players special. So special is like two barracks! But it's like, dude, they're two Terrans. They both just walled off together. So that's totally normal, man. I'm not sure if he's actually freaking out over that or not, but I hope he isn't because that is the most standard thing ever in a 2v2. <laughs> oh, I just bumped my mouse, did I? Did we get rid of that bottom bar, mate? There we go. So this is a proxy Stargate, I think, coming out of um, Australia, I think. My here. Okay. Oh, his adept is coming down. Yeah, follow the low HP! Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I shot. Keep S shooting, keep shooting. Specials comms are just so frantic, guys. I would I would have a heart okay, attack stop! if I was playing. What right. a loop! There you go! Yeah, you got it! Yeah. I got the other one too! Oh, Where? <laughs> We're the best! Oh, yeah, another one, another one. Get it, get it! Okay, I'm going across. <laughs> we have to get this game, Astria! Oh, he's gonna scout you gay, though. Oh, he's not. Whatever. I have no words. The amount of energy and excitement is just, like, this? Oh, insane. But this is actually such a good start for them, guys. They've already killed two or three Reapers. They're gonna deny both command centers. This is actually a huge momentum swing for them. You know what's funny? I, I do think that if you both of the other guys just went proxy 2-3 or 3-rex Reaper, back, back. they'd probably win, though, against this opening. Oh, the early cyclone. Yeah, kill that cyclone. Kill Good TVT opening, guys. Told you that. But, oh, the I adepts are going to get it. The adepts, I think they just got one of the cyclones. The other one kills the Hellion. They're doing yeah. a lot of damage still. Hey, kill the cyclone. 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 Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I drop, uh, uh, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it, kill it. Oh, oh. I have Reaper for a reason, man. Yeah, back, 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 back. Just don't lose your adepts, move your adepts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm going back behind it. He don't, they have no raven. No raven. They're just going like bio after it. You just play Phoenix Colossus. Phoenix Colossus, okay. Yeah, I'm making tanks, I really don't worry. Uh, Phoenix? Uh, my Phoenix is so late though, should I still play? Ah, no, no, just play something else then. They're just going bio behind it. Like oh making one cycle into bio. Oh, that's so funny. Why do you think I have Reapers, man? Nice, nice. I just got, I'm gonna have tanks to defend, don't worry. Alright, so he's, nice. he's defending Australia's counter attacking. Um, Special's got his expo up now. No, no, we're doing so good. I'm going Banshee behind it into mech. They did some good they damage. They never see their speed Banshee's coming. <laughs> he's going speed Banshee into mech? Actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm doing a hidden base. I'm doing a hidden base. They will never see that one coming. And a hidden base. Oh my god. Special's just going full YOLO. I love it. And this, this sort of stuff is actually so good in team games as well. Okay, first Banshee out. It's so sick. gonna harass this guy. We need to be. You you have the gold base, by the way. You can take the gold base. Oh, yeah, yeah, I always forgot. That scan barely missed the Banshee moving out as well. It's okay, they cannot break, they cannot break. Just come back, man. Or you go. You can go here. You, you honestly can go across. He's doing it? With Adepts. That's a lot of Cyclones, uh, man. Oh, across the map? Hmm. Yeah, you cannot break me. But if you want to stay safe, we will stay here. Okay, first Banshee out. Making speed as well. You need to go blink, by the way. You know that, right? Blink? You think so? Yeah, they're gonna have medevacs, man. How are we gonna kill the medevacs? I don't have. 
They are, they are already making the medevacs. My mind is out, doing damage. Oh, and some nice repair. Oh, I'm gonna go chat! Nice! Nice. <laughs> Barely gets out of the scan range. Oh man, I feel like every little success is Ging up special so much. The energy is building, man. Team clown tactics. Why you go home? Actually doing so sick. Goes home to repair, starts going into mech. Mech is a sick late game composition. Mech and Protoss is so powerful. Like, people always say in team games, and I'm not I an expert. I guess I can make there are some benches. But they I'm say Sky back. Toss plus tanks, like mech, mech plus Sky Toss carriers is just delicious. Oh, we got away! Oh, um, they're so tilted, man. <laughs> Special knows how infuriated you are as a okay, Terran like, ways to scan like, like that. Easy. And he's like, look, I'll go really down, trouble, but that's well, a second scan, that. and I killed the SCV building the third. Definitely. Incredible. I'm making a center tower, turret here. Turret here. Yeah, some turrets on the edges just to stop those drops. Those drops caused some trouble in the last game. I love that Estrella has the bottom right, Special has the top left. They've taken both corner bases. These guys are such trolls, man. I, I love Barak, it. You're flying for vision. They're both channeling the power of North America, while Bion and Maru are playing this almost like it's 1v1. They're just like, oh, we'll just oh, go for two Reaper, first command center, and uh, just play bio. Yeah, you're going to play bio? Yeah, I'll play bio too. No worries. I have a sensor tower for vision. I'm going to spread some Marines. Special in Australia are actually bringing out the special tactics, man. That's the way you play 2v2, man. You can take bigger risks, bigger swing and attacks. You can do some wild shit. I love it. Dude, the edge of this map is just like a grid. Dude, you guys in some parallel universe's chessboard or something? No, well, this nice. map's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. oh, his turret just started. It's okay. Yet. You can defend, right? I cannot help you. Yeah, Banshees can't help there. I think you're fine. I'm losing that gold base would suck, but I think the Colossus out. are there. They're using bio. Okay. That's bio again, man. I feel like they should have one mech player, one bio player. Double bio? It really relies on your drops getting damage and momentum and, like, expanding at a fast rate and really getting a big economy up. Because any ground transition is going to be pretty late. Ooh, he gets one of the Cyclones almost immediately. And does he get another one? I missed it. Ah, oh, he didn't okay. quite get the target fire. Drop. You saw the drop, bro? Yeah, I saw it. I can't believe he's going- Oh my god, they're going for it. <laughs> he had like okay. seven stalkers uh, under it, but he's like, Oh, really? You're just gonna fly over that? Uh, Dude, you're playing Beyond and Maru. Uh, These guys are YOLO oh, lords. He found my base, he found my base, fine. Gonna try and hide the command center in the corner. Banshees yeah. are going to defend that top left. Trying to go double upgrades, but this drop's being quite frustrating to clean up. You're fine, right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I need to take my turn now, because he calls him. They cancel my turn. Drop here. Okay. Dude, the speed banshees are actually so annoying, though. I think special style of always having these super mobile annoying harassment units is actually very, very effective. It's really hard for Bion and Maru, who are so trained for 1v1, to have not just Phoenix and stuff roaming the map, or in this case, Stalker Colossus defending, but also have the Speed Banshees coming in the back. It's it's it's, it's so annoying, oh, man. Such a fast unit. They're basically Terran Mutalisks that don't shoot up. I think we should be fine. I think so. They lost a, not a lot, but a bit. Yeah. So he's going to keep muling the top left corner, but he doesn't want to commit too many SCVs up there because it is, of course, so exposed. You still have a hidden base, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I think we use Max and we, we, we move. Max, I move. I like that time. Looks like more I factories to, coming down, so they're making factories. a bit more of a swap into tanks. Oh, they're fine. It. It's okay. Use run. Just give it up. I can't, I can't kill people with my bunches. There's only a few marines, it's mostly marauders, so he's just gonna come in here and just kill the marines. Not enough space for all of them, so a few marauders will go down as well. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't worked, worked more drops into the top left and down the left side of the map. They scan my base, so I'm moving it.
Oh, the disruptors are out. Colossus and disruptors. Drop, drop, drop. You're going to need a lot of tanks to deal with this. I wonder where Maru and Biana are into their late game transition, man. It's Beyond, he never scans. There's still there, my barrack here. <laughs> Beyond never scans. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Beyond's not gonna scan. He'll just dive into your turrets and anti-air and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm Max. Got all the way there? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, he dived in again. Okay, my bunch is coming. Yeah, Beyond always dives in. We should go attack soon, I think. Okay. Kill the medibacks and I kill the... To be fair, I've been talking about Beyond and his crazy drops for a long time. You ready? He always picks up and just flies yeah. straight through the enemy observer vision, doesn't care, and just like oh, goes over a bunch of stalkers. I'm coming. Oh, right, I'm scan. oh. I landed it. he's landing his orbital just scan so he can do more scans to keep track of the army. But sure, my banshees, no. no, no that's my a pretty good a tank count, but if the banshees can flank the tanks, oh my god, that's a giant tank count. Oh, but if he can take him out, I don't. Oh, this Viking Raven though. Okay, no good. Ooh, dude, they've got the Viking advantage. They got no, the sky no, control. Oh my god. And the tank count. Go back, go back. They can't oh, push, but you need to. You, you guys to have to play carriers and storm now. That's that's all they have all they can do now is carriers and storm, guys. They have they have to go super late game now. Tempest maybe as well. Ooh, yeah, Beyond Maru, we're ready for him this time. They transitioned off that buyer really well. Oh, don't get your tanks caught on the retreat though. Oh, I think they might try to chase you down. Yeah. So right now he's got to keep sieging up to kind of buy, buy time. So as this tank advance comes, they can slow it down little by little. But the I mean, question is, like, this, sky how do they deal with so it? Much. And I think Psystorm's yeah. really important to deal with those Vikings. Watch out. Yeah, you need to counter attack and win the fights counter attacking as well. This part is going okay. Okay, yeah. They gotta abuse the immobility of this army. Their tank his tanks can buy a lot of time, but if they can move the army out of position, then that'll be huge. He's gonna put turrets in front. Banshees! The Banshees go in, they get two tanks. Thor starts shooting them though. They take a few losses. Liberators coming forward, making things very tough for them. He's gonna try and, and move up on this north side. This base is pretty much toast. Go, go. He's gonna try and at least right push here. back those front few tanks. Uh, still a scary moment in this game. Feels like Maru and Bion are smashing through, man. Yeah, your army's just going to destroy. Can you scan here? Maybe I can aim move that middle. I think, I think he needs a Thor. He needs, he needs a super long-ranged anti-air unit to help out against these Liberators. Ooh, zoning the tanks. Just actually outranging them with the disruptors at the very limit of their range. Well done, Australia. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's only four tanks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, top fight is going well for me. Top fight's going well. No, no, you need to win a fight. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna die. So Australia's pushing through the top. He broke part of the tank line, but then he has to fall back because that tank line goes forever. Oh man. Oh my god, the Master Raven Viking. Oh, this is over, man. Bion and Maru schooled them. Bion's still on bio, but with heavy Viking Raven as well. Ghost in the mix. And a Thor or two, just to help yeah, with the anti air. And no. Maru's going to full mass tank. Hey, we need anti air. That's a problem. Nice Elliot Stalker tours, attempt so. in the bottom, but Australia's back to his original three base. Special's only on four bases. If they were going to come back from here, they'd need to have like four or five base economy each at this point. They are pretty screwed. Even though Special has a big Should've army, he needs a, a magical engagement. I don't know how you do that with mech versus mech. Uh, you got to kind of try and get them to headbutt into your line. The my... Thors swap it a single fire mode, so they've got the extra range. Astraea's run by in the bottom is getting cornered though, so all of his Zealot Stalker gets caught out down there. Oh, he's going to take out some of the libs of the Thors. The Thors do pretty well him. here. Okay. I'm trying to join you. okay, he's going to try and get get control of the middle again. Doesn't have many scans though, man. Ooh, he needs a scan so badly. He finally gets it. Oh, run by on the top side of Australia. Should be able to deal with that. Special still hanging on. I feel like Bion and Maru should have so much money to work with, but this fight was really good for... They're coming! Oh my god! 
Oh, oh no. God, fuck, they have so much. Oh my God. Oh, Maru. Maru. Too good, man. Uh, we need to, we need to, go, we need to go Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this ground is not good. He just interference matrix like 15 years. We always times. look, every time we make ground, we lose, man. <laughs> There's not of this. We, we gotta go air. We can't play ground, man. Every time we play ground, we lose. And I mean, you can see there that definitely Australia needed to play more of a mobile style going around. That map was so focused on that center path. Once the tank count hit a critical mass, Australia needed to be like moving around and cutting in from behind. He needed to keep the movement going to land the disruptor shots, do more zealot run by stuff like that. And then maybe he would have been able to make it happen. But dude, it's it's otherwise you gotta go carriers, Tempest, Psy Storm, that sort of stuff. And that might work out for sure. But uh, I think Protoss can win the Sky War if you're using Psy Storm and Tempest really well. But uh, it's it's always a bit of a tough one. Proxy two gate or just one? I uh, think one is good, no? Because you Tied can take an Nexus in the background very safely. You know what I mean? It's good to see Pokemon gifted a lot of subs today okay. to uh, to special. Uh, He's made it. The Destroy the Koreans. Thank you for a sub. Yeah, we, can, we can go here and uh, double mine out. There's only five minerals. Right. Thank you, thank you for the ra for the sub. I mean for the 10 bucks. My man, I don't even want to say. Okay, we do that. That sounds sick. Make sure to mine the right mineral, please. Which, which one do you want to mine? Whatever you choose, man. You're, you're going to mine first than me. That's true, yeah. They're going to mine open the path together? Oh, super cool. Oh, Alright, so he's doing a proxy gate and a proxy barracks. Oh my god, so they're gonna open okay. up the rush distance path? So sick. No, Double I like proxy this. Barracks. This is something I'm, 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 I'm bored of. Alright. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, but please, for the love of god, don't make us trouble. <sighs> he's like, do you want me to go Phoenix? Please, things. for the love of god, don't build a yeah, robo. Special well, you're making Phoenix, god damn it. Phoenix. Phoenix are very good for controlling the pace in 2v2s. Shutting down all the drops. Hmm? Blink? Do, do, do. do you say blink? No, I say no blink. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenix. Yes, please. Okay, I'm going to Rex Reaper. They know, they know scouting. Again. Of course. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Myron and Beyond is so up and goes greedy, first. dude. That was, that's what I will do if I was double terrain. One of us will be CC first on this map. Okay. Mm. Make sense? Now, Australia does have a Nexus. with this or go home? Tell me right now. So, I think this is a Max Pax for Australia. I think he's going to do two Zealot Stalker. Cybercore is about to pop up. You're going to see a yellow blob on the mini map right now. Yeah, that's the Cybercore just started, the 1 minute 47. It's the Max Pax build. First Zealot is out. I think I'll. Should I wait with my Zealot? I'm going. My Ripper is out, so you can go if you want. Mini map casting. That's how we do it. Oh, CC. They went one Rex Spam. They're dead, man. Greedy, greedy, beyond getting caught out there. Okay, now, it looks wait. like Maru played a bit safer He's with a the factory already on the way. But so. even just having one command center that they can focus on is already pretty sick. I really think they won one Rex Spam, man. I mean, Dorea went to see first. Still really good, though. I mean, they can deny that command center at any moment, but for now, they're just looking to bust on in. It's only one Reaper to defend right now. We're in! Oh. We're in! I'm catching the factory. Cancel factory. Oh, you kill a Ripper. Right? First stalker out. I don't think you can jump oh, there. The has to go the long oh, you can. It's okay, it's okay. We're, we're in very good position. Right? They get the command center cancel. They force a ton of SCVs off the line. Do They've still got or forward or? position. Yeah. This is a great start. Nice. Oh, gets another Reaper for free. Oh, micro. Only just starting his expansion now, but hey, it's quicker than them. Sorry. I do think Maru has a command center in the back of the base, though. Oh, that's a lot of Reapers, man. Kill the left, kill the left, kill the left. Okay, good there. Yeah, kill the left. I, I, I just saw you. Kill the left. Oh, kill it Watch all. Watch out, SCBs. Move, oh. move, move. Move. Yeah, we win the game. What do you mean we do more? Okay, okay, okay. is like, do we back off in transition? What do you mean? We, we keep going. We win the game, man. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't well, expect a time like that. What do you mean we do more? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, nice man. These legends. And I mean, they guys, say, let's, let's be real. Maru and Beyond have not been scouting. They're They're you always have to scout in 2v2. If you don't scout, it is such a dangerous thing to do, man. Next map's gonna be Arctic Dream. 2-1 lead for the clowns. If the clowns can take out Team America, that'll be huge. And oh my god, they're doing it again! Oh, okay. Okay. You proxy again, okay? I'm just going to the back, okay? I'm just playing marker. You pro your proxy one gate. Just proxy one gate. Okay? It's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. They got scouted. I want to proxy zero. One proxy one gate is gonna do nothing. You zoo well, what do you wanna yeah, do? do, I, do. I think I'll you do it. I'll Proxy it just for the, the so they think we're attacking. Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant. Okay. Okay. okay so he's proxying the gateway, but he's not going to use it. Yeah, that's obviously. the point. Obviously. So and Australia's is like, look, I'll proxy the gateway. I don't want to, block, but block, block. because it's been scouted. Attack the civilian. Attack it. Change, 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 change. Change. Come back. Change, 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 change. Okay, good. Wait. Uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Is Mario, Mario's proxying? Oh. <laughs> What's Mario doing? I don't know. Are we getting proxied also? Gonna try and win with that SCV. Yeah, probably, probably, probably. Very likely. I'm running my SCV out. I escape. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Where's his barracks? You sent the first set Is there a command there. center on the right? They should check the right base. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so they're being proxy barracks. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what we do because they're proxying me, I think. Or you, I, don't I think know. they proxied the Australia, though. What are you going to make a home? Yeah, they're oh, proxying. No, they they're proxying. They're proxying. Both. Oh, no, no. What? No. Uh, guys, the poo poo is about to hit yeah, the fan. Yeah. This is yeah, a, a uh, Reaper proxy okay, all in, basically, I think, for Maru and Beyond. I think they're both just going mass Reaper double or triple racks. Fuck. I think There's you guys are dead. Okay. Oh, this is not good. No, I, th I think they're super dead, guys. Oh, they fall off? Really? 2v2 I'm maps I'm almost coming, always have really abusive ledges that are super yeah, overpowered for Reapers. Yeah, record, record. Oh, he waited on the ledge. Oh, oh clever boys. So he's just going to run away with his Reaper and say, hey, it's not worth chasing me, right? He's trying to get out of there, but there's no way out. The Reaper gets out, but that means Australia's worker line is getting slaughtered. Might be there. I need to walk across the map and try to win or something. You know? But I think we're tripping. Might be able to hold once my battery is out. That'd be good. That'd be nice. Ah, yeah. Fuck. Bro, battery, please. He needs the stalker to survive. For the battery. Nice! Nice, nice, very nice, very nice. I do have a chance, honestly. No memes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do some damage with the Reaper across. Oh, what are you doing, Zalas? Stray defended with one Stalker and a Shield battery, guys. Oh my god. Are you okay? I can't really help you if I just got my Stalkers. Oh my god, that's okay. like five, six, seven Reapers. Oh man. Gotta try to help you. I mean, his Reaper is still leading leading Maru Are around out? on a merry chase. My Reaper didn't die. Okay. As long, I mean, he's wasting a lot of mining time there, dude. I mean, this guy is kind of dead. Is he? Yeah, he's taking his three shit. He's literally only making Reapers. I like that he says this guy. I don't think Special even knows which one's Beyond and which one's Maru. He's just kind of like, they're both on red. I've got enemy player on red. I might need two oh. Terrans. Left Terran is in a bad spot. I made him pull his workers, and he's already got no economy. Oh my god, now he's hitting beyond. So it was Maru that he messed up really bad, actually. So some value there. He's still got a bunker available. Ah, looks like he did get his Reaper surrounded, unfortunately. Let's go, let's go. We need to win, we need to win. Oh, yes. All the Stalkers come up. Very nice. They're going to catch a lot of these Reapers right now. We need to attack, we need to attack. We, need to attack. we have no chance. Nine, nine, nine. Okay. Yeah. Kill the Reapers, Nice. Yeah. The Hellions can outrun oh. them. Who we kill? I think this guy has a Cyclone, has nothing. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. They're trying to kill the proxy gate. That means the Hellion Reaper is going to catch coming. him potentially. That's probably not. No, it's going to stay there. Quick response by Maru. He really wants to depower that. Doesn't want that pilot, that warp gate to finish, but it's going to get up, and that means Australia can warp it on the front. I'm serious. Got nothing. Oh! Nice! nice. Oh! Are you kidding me? Get the bunker, get the bunker, get the bunker. No, 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 no. Uh, bunker. You go to the other guy? Yeah, yeah. The bunker does get up. Has a cyclone, has a cyclone. Oh, 
no, no. Never mind, no. Oh my god. Um. I'm, in your base. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got nothing at home. Oh no. Okay, Hellion comes back. With the Drilly boys, should be able to kill them. Hellion does beat a Reaper pretty badly. Two Reapers beat a Hellion, but with the Drilly boys, it's okay. Oh my god, this is on such way. a chaotic position. Yeah, yeah, they're both stuck on one base. No, I don't know if they have expands. That's a problem. If, if Maru and Beyond have expands, they're screwed, exactly. So that's that's where things could go really bad for them. Okay, they've got them contained, but the thing is you get backdoor expansions on this map. There's no way they can get in there, man. If they got in and stopped that bunker completely, they might have been able to just bust the ramp and win there. I'm making tank and I'm gonna rally like across the map, you know, after this. He's gonna rally a tank across to siege him? So sick. The tank? The problem is they have bases inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough. But if we tank push them, it might be okay. Maybe? 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, uh, are we going? Yeah. Oh, Banshee? I don't know if he has cloak. He doesn't got cloak. He has cloak, he has cloak. <laughs> Tell me what to scan, I have a scan. Tell me what to scan. Nice, baby! Why is he transition like this in tomorrow? I just have mentioned my base, I don't care, I don't care. Don't care? Well, I should care, right? Probably. I'm gonna run my workers. So, anyway, is I going back? I don't have a scan, though, that's the problem. But we're killing one, we're killing one. <laughs> Zero casting required. Watch out, Siege. Yeah. Kill the workers, I think. Yeah. Alright, they're gonna get defended, but they did some sick damage there, man. There's another bench out. I don't know if 4 is enough to kill this bench, but... I don't, I don't have a scan, I have a scan, I have a scan. No, 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 no! There's another bench out, by the way. Okay. Watch out, you sucker. I see. Tank yeah. plus 4 stalker gonna defend his proxy gate. How is that proxy gate still alive? He's got the, the scouting barracks as well. Oh my god, so sick. Oh, but they're gonna they're gonna retake retake the front yeah. and they're taking third bases now. No problem, this is another bunch and I have robot. You have a robot? Tell me you have a robot. Oh they're so uh, dead. They're so dead. This has gotta go to game five, man. Yeah, no. Nah. They did some good counter damage, but they're they're so behind on economy, man. Maru has to have that back base up. You know what'd be really funny is if Maru just doesn't realize there's a back base. So he's actually, my that's his naturally my orbit, my orbit almost done. I'm telling you, a bunch of ROP, man. Uh, okay, you're... Uh, you see what this is, guy I, we, we need more 2v2 tournaments. Because yeah. Kizun has team. You all need to let me know. Like, If, if you guys are as hyped as I am by watching this stuff, like we, we yeah, need, need just a guys. few more. Yeah, he's dead. Three, four, five yeah, thousand dollar two v two tournaments. I'm, I'm Just every I'm now and then. A bunch of them. <laughs> that proxy starboard in the top right. Is like if you make a robot, I can make tanks and support you with tanks. He hasn't. Oh, you got a robot. Make, make, give me a, give me an observer. He hasn't uh, scouted Maru's back base. No, no, no. Banshee, I'm Banshee. Pretty sure it's there. I need to make tanks and help you somehow. Okay, I'm gonna try to get classes out. Yeah, especially if we get comms for the players. If we like let the players first person server, view uh That's stream it. Way. Oof, so good. Give me uh, con just just putting it on your cyclone. Give me control, give me control of you of your units. Okay. I would I would control the server. Alright. Right. Oh, they're gonna share unit control. You should always share unit control if you're playing super competitive two V2s. You? Oh, you're just not meant to take control of the other person's units unless you kind of have permission or it's like a very specific agreed upon scenario, like Oh, I see a widow mine drop about to go off, so I quickly pull your workers and queue them back to mining for you. It's something where, like, oh, much. you know, well, I don't really need permission in that scenario kind of thing. I kill two marauders, if that helps. <laughs> Four stalkers and two cyclones try to stop this man. <laughs> I think we died, right? Maybe, I just need the recall, I don't know. No, I think we're dead then. Oh, let's, let's not give up. We're probably dead, but let's not give up quite yet. Okay, well. Good luck to you. Let's not give up. Australia wants to fight to the bitter end. He's like, hey man, I recalled my stalkers. I've been killing SCVs. Like, I want to at least fight this out, but no. Okay, we're dead. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. 
Australia's going for the wear out beyond in Maru's wrist strategy. I mean, he got three bases, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, we're probably... Uh, okay, we can go up. It's fine. 2-2, uh, 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 two, two, going to game five, baby. Beyond taking a leaf out of the clown's book that game and going for the proxy banshee. Those banshees were so important. They did so much damage. That was actually just crazy damage they brought out. The proxy, I think, that's not a good building, 2v2, like, for TT. Because if we scout it, it's so easy for the friend for us, maybe. That's true. This looks like a pretty bad proxy map. Yeah. There's not a lot of spots. Yeah. <sighs> one, more, one more map. Astra, we never die. Never die? No, we never die. Okay, you do it, man. Scout it quickly. This we map's been in the pool for a older. long time. No, no, no. It's not necessary. Don't care? Okay. No. It's not needed, honestly. I don't think we're going to get in. I'm going to scout. I'm just yeah. going to see if they have bar barracks or not. That's good enough. If you do a 2v2 tournament, you should always specify the... I think you're going to get in time, for sure, man. It's before the barracks. The player colors, so they're similar. That's, that, that's smart. Is it? I don't think so. Maybe? Look at my supply. No way. Yeah, anyway. No way, no way. I'll keep my eye open for Procus. For SCVs. Okay. It's easy watching first person view where all the enemy is red. But if you're casting on an overlay, I you didn't see that. Yeah, actually, you're right. But it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Well, we're not proxy, so. That's good enough. You remember, first finish the scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers. I think they're just swearing in each other's languages right now. Why didn't their SCV come on my side? The cultural exchange of Starcraft. I don't know, it's so fucking sad, It's okay. I'll tell Remember, I'll my teach brother, you how Ripper, to say the me word. First. Phoenix needs to scout. Okay. So he's like, you go Phoenix and you I'm do scouting. I'm gonna make a Cloakless Banshee this time into a Raven. Cloakless Banshee into Raven. All right, bye, 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 bye. Ripper's gonna come, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always Ripper. Yeah, it's, all, it's never gonna be a Marine 2v2. Trust me. Because it does, it's not gonna do anything. You need a Ripper to defend stuff. Okay, okay. I went Nexus before the core again, so... I noticed. Late on my other. You noticed? Yeah. Okay. So pretty late expansion okay. for like like special, no, but it's just kind of TVT style. Makes sense. Go for that 220. They actually might have gone too gas, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was pretty good. For them last time. Maybe I should have stuck around. Oh. Two Reaper. Two that Reapers coming. Awesome. SCV is gonna hide. The okay, adept will be out very to... soon, so they need to be very careful because two Reapers and him. an adept. Easy pickoffs. Chase, chase, chase. He's good. He's good. Go. Ooh, very close. Is he building his command center still? I think he must have put another SCV on it. I see a little, little blob on the side of the command center. Kill it, kill it. Keep, keep going, keep going! Don't stop! I don't ask him, just go! <laughs> shoot him once, shoot him once. Shoot him once, shoot him. Keep going, keep going, no stop. Attack the Reapers only. Oh man. Nice, this is good. Beyond and Maru, throwing away a Reaper out there. Way too cocky, they gotta be careful, man. Now they're losing their SCVs on both command centers. The anabolic French toast has been doing its work. Special in Australia are dominating the early game here. Oh, that adept is just so powerful. It, it, it's like it, two reapers, it, basically. It. Oh, gets another one, but the cyclone will hunt him down. I don't think he can get out of there. He's just going to go deep, see what he can kill. Imagine losing one reaper like that. The adept got out. The adept got out. Oh my god, that's so sick. Really, really good. They delayed the okay, expansion so long. Okay, let's not fuck it up. So just play, you know? We scouted everything, by the way. They're going like same thing. Three axis. You see? Okay. Is this like an early push or something? It's least the same build as game. Same build as game two. When he shouts, it is a little bit loud, guys. Oh, so like trying to move him back a little bit. They're gonna try to push with like some cyclone and marine, and then go by behind it. Okay. I have to cyclone. 
there's something up. We, should we be afraid? Like, no, no, I'm gonna have a tank. It's gonna be fine. Stray is very soft, guys. Just Not much I can do about that. Here. And my Banshee's gonna go to the main base of Bian. Okay. I don't think they'll expect Banshee. It's only one Banshee. No one expects Banshee. Help me, help me! Help me! Nice! No, we killed you! Oh, uh, I'm mad at you, you can micro gang me, baby! Yeah, you can. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Banshee's out. <laughs> oh my god, that Don't last double lock was so greedy. It was so uh, greedy. You think you could micro against okay. me, Maru? Yeah, okay, you can. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Banshee's gonna put some work. It's only one clock to this Banshee, too. Yeah, specials comms really are like the Terran, the Terran parting. Just shouting excitedly. That's a cloakless banshee, guys. That doesn't cost nearly as much. Notice how Beyond's trying to do the mass repair micro. He's gonna try and limit the kills. Put in the work. Four SCVs. Four nice, SCVs nice. is sick. Cloakless banshee is a pretty cheap up. investment. I'm gonna go biking behind there, by the way. Like you play like okay. TVT, you know. Kill more workers. That's another marine. Okay, kill my banshee, but it's fine. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good. So I think it's gonna be yeah, Marvel, you Mech, and uh, Beyond Cross your skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back, guard. Yeah. Now Mar you just keep harassing. There's a thirsty C, by the way, by the guy. You saw? Uh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Special will definitely play Mech, yeah. I think. Don't scare me like that, please. With the Phoenix for control, and if Australia doesn't get stuck on the middle path, if it becomes mech versus mech face off, he's got to go around and keep the movement going. But I wonder if he goes. It's good that with this position, by the way, you have you can cover like at the base. Because off the Colossus, I mean, yeah, yeah. if he goes carrier, that'll be huge. Spray. I'm taking my turn. I think Mario and going... Bian are both going oh, third base. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. I have a I have a scan and a raven. Okay. You prop, please move them. Here, here, I'm chasing it. Go kill it. Alright. Oh, he has two ravens. Full TVT style, man. He's ready to interference matrix the tanks. It makes sense, right? Because you're playing against two Terrans. If you can just shut down four tanks, if there's like an early mid game fight, you shut here, down here. four tanks, it'll be huge. I don't have a scan yet. I don't have a scan. Do you have a server? No, uh, do I? I don't think so. Alright, I'm sending my other raven. Colonel was props like crazy. It's okay. <laughs> Typical Terran player is like, just Chrono Boost probes, it'll be fine. <laughs> the Cloak Banshee is doing really well. It was really good that he went Rave in this game. After the, the previous games, he was like, there's no way we're going to be we're gonna be greedy against the Banshees again, man. Oh, one here, one here. Oh, don't scan yet, I only have a single Phoenix. Okay, tell me one. Tell me one. No, 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 no. Oh, drop your main. Can you scan still? I'm coming. Spirit Pro okay. Pool from Australia. Scan combo to get the uh, the Banshee there. Bian should stop with the Banshee since he knows there's Ravens and Observers out now. I don't know, it might have been Mara okay. actually since he's playing mech. No. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, Missile yeah. Turret does take out the okay, medevac. Looking the good the now you're going to carry this game, right? Okay. Carriers. <laughs> you're going to play carriers this game, right? And he's like, okay. <laughs> Australia's like, oh, well, I guess. He's like, you better make carriers, man. Because carriers make it so hard for the double Terran team. If you got mech plus carrier. That being said, they played really good Raven Viking earlier. I mean, we're in much better position this game. Yeah, we're doing well. That's why Storm is necessary. Storm is very... Storm and feedback are... Okay, I'm just going mech. Banshee? Man, these Banshees just non-stop. There's so many places to harass in a team game, you know? It's not like in 1v1 where if they just lock down three bases, they're solid. It feels like there's always an angle. You can kill okay. I think. It's always an angle. I also feel like that's been proxied in the top right of the map, so I think they could clear that uh, starboard out. I, I don't think they're coming all the way from the main base. So it was actually apparently it was beyond playing mech in the final game in this in this in this game five and uh maru playing bio this time around Australia's only now getting his fourth base up so he's being delayed a lot by these banshees man feels like special has a much better economy as he moves out to his fourth 
He's still having to scan these widow mines and whatnot everywhere. Getting up to five factories. He should be starting too, too soon as well. He's going to do a Hellion run by down the left side. Not sure if he has blue flame yet or not. But he's got tanks in the middle. Sensor towers moving forward. And uh, look at that. Hellions will go in and get at least a few of these SCVs. No blue flame just yet. Ooh, yeah, I got some good volleys like he, off. He doesn't have many tanks, you know. Okay. Yeah, okay. And they're really shutting down the middle of the map. Looks like this is going to go mega late game. Should we try to deny that base, what do you think? Or a base, uh, or just play? A lot of people would say Protoss is very favored here, but... I really don't know. I think Terran have the tools. I think Bian and Maru have Maru, and that's a huge okay, problem. I'm going back. He's on my army. Especially if he starts nuking. If he starts nuking, and then going like Fine. BCs or something like, like that. His like, army's... Oof. Maru's late game is so good. Yeah, you light pressure. Yeah, I think it's okay. Light pressure. All right, the Viking Raven is going to move forward. He's know, starting to move forward with this big, almost maxed out mech push. Gonna try and push through the middle. Beyond's got tanks, turrets, sensor towers, widow mines. There's ghosts there for for Maru as well. Pack of Vikings, but I think Special has more Vikings right now. Okay. I need to start making orbitals. He spotted the Hellion run by in the top right, but Australia got warned, so he warped in Zealots, and they should be able to stop that. Especially if there's like a cannon and a battery up there or something like that. It's a lot of Hellions though, so we can see a lot of attack warnings in that top right. Oh, big Widow Mine. Very nice Widow Mine. Widow Mine's Viking Raven is very low hit point units that clump up a lot. So that's why Storm Widow Which Mine base? hits. Can Devastating. Uh -huh. yeah. I'll go over there. I'm killing some tanks right now. Okay. All right, carriers are coming out. Australia's going to go bottom left and clear that base up. And Special's like, okay, cool. We can just like control this area and look to like win through efficiency in those those mid to late game fights. I think he probably wants to get even more star ports off though, uh, up for more Vikings. And on the other hand, I think there'll be a Thor or two coming out for Bion. Let's do a lot of ghosts from Maru there. EMP didn't really hit anything. Does win the tank trade there. He gets one tank for just hey, hit taking a few shots right. on one of his. And Australia's going to take out that base in the bottom left as well. So they're starting to choke him down a little bit. And he, look, he's going to siege up there. And does take out a siege tank. Looks like he'll lose one of his own. But he's, yeah, he's going triple starport. Takes out another tank. Gets a sensor tower as well. Okay, they start making ravens back in too. You need to make storm, you know, right? What do I want? Disruptor? Storm. Storm? Storm, really? Yeah, Australia's feedback. like, no, but I got disruptors. And especially saying, no, you need storm. Okay. And that's 100% correct. A lot of Protoss players don't like to make storm because they want to keep things simple for their small Protoss no. brains. And um, Maybe? Special as a Terran player realizes I mean, no. Storm is 100% necessary because Disruptors and Colossus don't shoot up. And this is all about the air war at this point. This is all about the air war. So Australia's like, oh, you sure? I got Disruptors. Don't I just want those? And he's like, no, make Storm. So good shot calling from Special here, mate. Good call good shot calling. Yeah. Now you need to do stuff with your carriers on this move, you know? Okay. We're doing better econ, econ than them right now. That's good. I'm, like, I'm containing this as much as I can. No nukes coming out of Maru yet. I'd really like to see mass nuke. I think that'd be a really good way of what just drop. opening the map up, putting pressure on. Okay. Double drop in the top right is a cute play from Maru, but I'd like to see some more nukes, man. In here. I'm going to deny today. Ooh! All right, gets quite a few SCVs. I mean, it's not crazy, crazy damage, but it's not bad, not bad. Top right base of Australia's gets picked off. Australia pushing down the bottom left. On the move, Australia's army is very frightening. Special is more of the zone control guy right now. He's got a, a, a bunch of guys up forward, but... Oh, look at that. Australia has nothing that shoots yeah, up. Kill it. Australia has nothing that shoots up. He can't fight that, mate. What's he got? Oh, he's got... Okay, no, no, it's enough carriers. Like Okay, there's like eight carriers. Okay, there was like two carriers. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Brood War! Can I get a scan? Kill it. Uh, you can kill it, the tanks. Do you kill the tank? Oh, 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 right, right. So a lot of Vikings coming down there. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely back. Oh, I'm 
might be in trouble. Oh. No, no, I'm, coming, I'm, coming. I'm making Ravens for everyone. I think I'll go Tempest. I'm not sure if it's right, but... Yeah, Tempest is absolutely well, the I right call. I think you call. need Storm, man. The Storm is more important. Oh, yeah. Storm. Oh, yeah, Storm. Where is your Storm? Oh, my God. Storm is the most important thing in these situations, man. Protoss players, man. I want to aim this. Okay, aim over. Aim over. Aim over. If you believe in your power of pros, do it. <laughs> Bike is out of position. You can do it. Yeah. Watch out. They're coming. <laughs> oh! Well, this is great. This is great. Really? Okay. Great like, disruptor shots pro all over the cyclones. That's really good. Oh, they caught nice. them so out of position. Good, good. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. They might just be able to break yeah. through now. Oh, sorry, the carriers sorry. are a bit exposed, though. I was too excited. But whenever you've got the Raven, the carriers shooting out the interceptors, and then your Vikings are able to just fight. So you tell good, me, man. I go back when. BCS? Yeah, let's go back. Oh, Battlecruiser teleport comes in. Oh, this is wild. He's gonna lose all of his carriers, man. Oh no. Oh wait, more Vikings come forward. The Psy Storm. Psy Storm's a game changer, man. Should we go? Battlecruiser is very bad at running away. Uh, no, no. So for those who don't know, the battle cruiser is kind okay. of like the Australian coat of arms. Like if we had a Caprulu sector, and, and I guess the Caprulu sector is kind of like Australia, right? They sent all the convicts out to settle the oh, shit know, part so. of the, the of the universe. And um, if you think about it, battle cruisers, one of the best Terran units from the Caprulu sector, kind of like the emu and the kangaroo, two animals which cannot walk backwards, that can only move forwards, and just like that, the battle cruiser. Only really effective when it's moving forwards. When it's moving backwards, kind of a big lumbering target and outranged by just about everything. They were winning really hard. Oh, oh dude, they get this base. No, they're they're breaking through we're... the tank line. Look at the map, man. We have all the map. Pushing. Oh my god, the Archons are actually covered in big. They tank so much. BC is good. Okay, I'm gonna keep that 11 to the list. No, it's fine. We just keep pushing. Yeah. It's a true story, by, by the way. Google, Kangaroo, Emu. They, they can't walk back. Backwards, guys. They can't do it. You ever see a kangaroo pop backwards? Uh, go back Physically way. impossible. Okay. Battlecruiser run by in the top right. We'll get that command center. He tries to lift it and float it away. Very quick response just by just special. Myro and Beyond's economy is in tatters. I think we still got... And the, the battlecruiser transition just wasn't quite able to be made can, there. Can... By these guys in... Oh, I Tempests, you, man. Are so good versus BCs. They already take one down. Dude, the Archons are so frightening as well, because if the Vikings fly over them, they're taking big splash damage. The Psy Storm might land here. Watch out with those Vikings, Beyond and Maru. Oh my god, and the ball's coming forward. Ball's all over the Thors. Interference Matrixes do come out very nicely, but so oh, special Interference Matrixes as well. The carriers are almost nice, out nice. of Interceptors. Oh! We won this game. Just kill these bitches. Psy Storm scares off the uh, Vikings. The Battlecruisers take out the High Templar. Beyond's Battlecruisers are getting blasted out of the sky here, yeah, that, dude. Well, Carrier good. Tempest Viking Raven pushing on forward. The Zealots coming in to lead the charge. The tanks getting in range of this BCs last so garbage, base. Man. BCs are so garbage, man. Special's words, not mine. Oh, my God. Oh, Beyond dumped so much money into these BCs, but... BCs aren't really good in this situation where you've lost the air war. Oh man, they're, they're good for dumping Yamato and then going elsewhere. But in, in a drawn out frontal fight yeah, like this, the Tempest and the Vikings. Yeah, nice. Smash them. Sick! Let's go. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Very good job. Very good. good shit, man. Good shit. Good shit, man, he says, pulling the shirt the down. Final, we go team and A, man. We're thank you, thank you, Rio, for the five bucks. We're going to go to the finals, man. Dude, that was awesome. That was so much fun to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this first-person view cast, reacts, observation. I don't know what you call this. All I know is Special has a lot more clown shit like this on his stream, twitch.tv forward slash specialist c2. And don't forget to check out Nation Wars, which is coming up in June. They did this tournament 
as a, a way to warm up and get everyone excited for the upcoming Nation Wars 1v1 normal kind of event where you've got players from all different countries competing. So make sure you guys check that one out. Go support them on Kickstarter and everything like that if you can as well. Um, and this is only the round of eight, I believe, in the playoffs. So we've actually got a bunch more series from this tournament and I very well may be casting some more of them if I can find some good games. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Goodbye and good night. Bye.